Hi friends, this is Travis Hartwell, and along with my friend Diego, I'd like to announce uh, the release of the Nix Emacs package. Right now, it currently contains support for uh, some helpful functions for handling NixOS options. The NixOS operating system is configured using the Nix expression language, as you can see here in, in this uh, configuration file of mine. And there are a bunch of options that you can set to set various attributes on your system, like the time zone, your networking information, the packages, and so forth. Now, in the manual, on the, in the online manual, you can see all of the various options that are currently supported. There's a lot of them. Now, there's this great little web interface where you can search through and you want to see things relating to users, for example. And it will show all of the things. Okay, here's trusted users and the inf information in there. Whatever. Well, being Emacs users, Diego and I would love to have this information in our Emacs. Um, instead of having to look here, copy the name, and then go into our editor, paste it in, you know, make sure we get the name right, whatever. Well... Um, so we would like to announce the release of Nixie Max, our initial public release, uh, version 0 0.0.1. This is a minimal functional release with support for Helm, which is the uh, narrowing selection framework, and Company, which is an auto completion framework. And I'd like to demonstrate that. So initially, um, I thought of, I wanted to just make an interface with Helm, which is convenient for searching, to re replicate that search interface in the web. And so, um, I have this, where I can start typing, and here's all of the options with, that has its user in the name. And, as you can see in the mini buffer, down here, um, briefly, when you're on it, it will show you the first line of the description. If you want to see more about a given option, we can just press enter on it, and it will take you to this buffer over here, on the, as you can see on the right-hand side, um, with the same information that you saw on the website. Now, in the current version, it's not really done as nice as I'd like. I'd like to have maybe some bold and, and link to the files and so forth, but for now, the same information is there. But, um, it also offers other options where we can, again, do go to users, hit um, control, at least right now in my space max, I hit control C to see the actions, and I can uh, insert into my buffer, well, I don't want to do that right here. Let me go to an I line right here and say, okay, let's do this. Um, and there we have that option in our buffer. Well, sure, that would be useful, but that's kind of a, an annoying way to, to do completion. It's a great way for searching and looking at the documentation, but if you wanted to do completion, we have support for company mode. So... You start typing, and here we go. Um, you see uh, the options, and then in this pop-up, you actually see um, uh, that documentation. You can hit Control H, and as you can see, it pops up that same documentation window. Um, press Enter, and there we go. Um, that's all right now. In, in the future, it'd be nice to ha have LDOC support or to show documentation in in the mini buffer. Um, we're thinking about seeing if we can have context aware. So when you're networking here, this networking block, and do completion, it will show you that. Um, but uh, for now, this makes editing your configuration files just a little bit easier. Um, if you're interested in our code, um, go to 
my GitHub page, so it's github.com slash Travis B. Hartwell slash Nix Emacs, and then under releases, we have the release. Um, if you just go to the main page, um, we have a README with some screenshots showing this, um, some animated GIFs with uh, showing similar to what I'm showing you here in this video, and how to set it up. Um, we have submitted a pull request for Melpa, so you should be able to uh, install from Melpa. Uh, we have three different packages defined, and if this gets accepted from Melpa, it will be NixOS Options, um, Company NixOS Options, and Helm NixOS Options. And we will uh, update the README uh, to make sure that has everything we need. And um, for SpaceMax, we have submitted a pull request um, to add a SpaceMax layer um, to automatically integrate this with SpaceMax, which is um, the configuration of Emacs that Diego and I both use. Um, I will have links to all these things in the description. And I uh, hope you all check this out and and the, you find it useful. If you have any questions, have any feature requests, or finding any bugs, uh, please uh, uh, submit issues. Uh, pull request welcome as well, and uh, thanks.